came on a good day, by the way. It's Throwback Thursday. You can't hear it. It's Elvis. Elvis is playing, so we're going to talk about the highest earning dead celebrities coming up. Yes, but in the meantime, let's talk about some very alive celebrities. It is time to fill you in on the big entertainment stories right now. And the man is here, John Murray, editor of the entertainment news site, alwaysalist.com. Here with the Morning Scoop. John, thanks so much for being here this morning. It's good to be here with you, beautiful lady. Oh, uh, well, thank you. you. You can come back anytime with that attitude. <laughs> or just stay. Don't go. <laughs> hey, we love talking gossip. We love everything Kardashian. We love seeing Kim's ring, the proposal from Kanye. It was really well planned. I mean, he really put a lot of effort into that. Take us through it. It was very over the top. Of course, it's the only way Ta Kanye would do it. He rented a baseball stadium in San Francisco. Uh, they had an orchestra. It was set up with a jumbotron where you married me. And after she said yes, in a very dramatic fashion of only as Kim could do. And of do, course, this is the new video going around. Yes, everyone's got a little, uh, you know, inside peek into it. Of course, we'll be seeing this on their e-show, the Kardashians. There's news cameras there. They have big boom mics so you can hear everything. And so then the family comes in, their friends come come in, everyone was there except for Lamar Odom and Bruce Jenner. Hmm. Inter were they invited? We don't think so. Interesting. There were fireworks, a 50-piece orchestra, and on the guest list was Joe Francis. Yes, the, the Girls, girls Gone, Gone Wild, Wild Man, yes. Well, here's a quote from him describing it, because it, she was told something else about where everybody was. It was, you know, for right. the surprise. He says, quote, it was absolutely like a military operation. The ruse was so great, a real class act. So when Joe Francis deems your event classy, then you know you've really arrived. You've really right? made it, yes. You know, he's been hanging out with her mom, and, you know, they've been quite cozy and, and taking Caribbean vacations together. That's an odd combination to me. Huh. Yeah, Chris, keep, keep your top on, right? <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> That's very, so interesting things you brought up there. But let's move on, because we just turned, found out Polly D is a daddy. Yes. And there might be some daddy issues Paternity. Absolutely. Issues. And let, let this be the public service announcement to other male celebrities. Don't be allergic to latex. If you're going to have a one night stand, cover your situation up. Pun intended. Um, so he met this young lady in a, in, named Amanda in Vegas when he was DJing one night. They had a one night stand. They have a son now. He hates her. She hates him. So now they're in this custody battle. He wants the custody case to be held in Las Vegas because typically in Nevada, men make out better in the courts. She wants it to take place in New Jersey so that she can make out better. She wants sole custody. Now, if he does uh, get the case held in Nevada, he ultimately have to pay more child support because of Nevada law. But he's willing to do that. He's making a a grip being a DJ out there. I mean, I mean, he's got the Jersey Shore money. He's made the DJ money. He's doing all right, but he wants to be involved in his son's life. So I applaud him for that. Yeah. But you know, when you meet these girls one night stands, you don't know who you're procreating with. First of all, that was great advice to start with. But second of all, I I do respect what he's doing because yes. it would be easy for him to be like, mm, I don't know, I don't know her. Or well, just to cut a check yeah. and not be involved right. at all. Absolutely. So, Maybe he wants a spinoff out of this. Well, you know, Paulie, you know. Paulie D to dad. Right, D for Dad. Coming to MTV. D for drama, D for <laughs> DNA. Well, TLC, their mu movie was a huge hit for VH1, but yes. now there's some sort of legal wrangling, right? 4.5 million viewers. I mean, they broke records. The highest uh, original film on television in some teen years or something like that. They're doing really well. But their old manager, Pebbles, who we saw in the movie, uh, sued them even after she gave them a bad contract and caused them to be broke in to the height of their career maybe suing them again. She doesn't like the way she was portrayed on the, um, in the film. She says it could be defamation of character. And then Lisa left I Lopez's family. They're saying they love the movie. They think it was done well, but they wanted to be involved. And so they, they, they're just kind of griping about the fact that they weren't participating. Now, if I was TLC, I probably would have left them out as well. It's taken them a long time to get to a place where they can make money. They don't want to share it with Lottie Dottie and everybody. There you <laughs> go. Thank you so much for the scoop this morning, John Murray. Thank you for Anytime. being here. Always a list.com. Great to have you. You got to come back. Anytime. Thank